When you use your Perfector, the results you get are just gorgeous. It's, it's totally different than anything you've ever used. But you have to remember that it's different than anything you've ever used. So if you're going to take the Perfector, do not use it like you would use a curling iron. Do not take your section, pull it all the way out to the end, and try to roll all the way up to the scalp. Now I just did that because I am a professional and I'm sure I know how to get that out. But if at any time you're up that close and you move things around, it's gonna get caught. Don't use your perfector that way. I'm gonna take this section here again, just to show you that you wanna make sure that the hair is vertical and I'm rolling from the scalp out. As I roll from the scalp out and I pause and do a half turn, it really, if you're coming in this direction, as you can see, no matter what I do, I can't get that caught. But I'm gonna show you what happens and how actually people could get the perfecter caught. That gives me that perfect curl, right? If I took that same section and I went from the bottom and I rolled up. Now, if I rolled all the way up, as long as I came out exactly the same way, my perfector would not get caught. But the problem is, when you roll up, if hair gets moved around and it's getting all into different places of those teeth, now you have a caught brush. So if that happens, what you wanna do is, first things first, is go ahead and shut this off. You wanna stop the heat, that's really important. You can even unplug it if you need to get some more room. Now I have a brush that's caught in her hair. If I let go, that's completely stuck. My suggestion to you is to have a comb, a rat tail comb, or anything that's pointy like this. Now, if it's in the back of your hair or somewhere you really can't reach, I really suggest that you get somebody to help you. Only because what's most important right now is that your hair comes out smoothly and you don't tangle it, rip it, pull it, that it just comes out like the way you started. I shut this off already. That's your first step. Make sure that it's off so that the heat will stop very quickly and you don't have to worry about any damage to your hair that way. So I can't go out any further. So now that I can't go out any further, I'm just gonna start right up here at the top using my comb, making the comb go all the way to the barrel and pulling. And as I do, I'm finding ends as you can see. And that's important because we want those out. So we will just continue, see, little by little. You can go in it both ways. I'm literally just coming all the way down the barrel and I'm loosening, I'm all the way down the barrel, I'm loosening that hair, you see that? So that this way, once I've loosened it, then I go and see what can come out. It's still tangled, so I'm gonna go back down and loosen that hair out. See what I'm doing? I'm, I'm really literally pulling it away from the barrel. And every time I do that, I see if there's an ability for a section to come out. Again, I'm pulling it away. See how I'm getting it away from it? And then if you know you wanna use your hands that easily, just get it out of the hair. So you just pick away at it. Now we haven't done anything to that hair. It actually still looks smooth and shiny from the perfector itself so that there's no worries about splitting your ends or breaking your ends if your hair happens to get caught in this round brush or any round brush, actually. So we can just move forward and curl the rest of our hair. So remember, if you use the perfector in the proper way, you're not gonna get it tangled. If you do get it caught, please, there's a couple of things that I wanna show you. Just never do. Don't ever keep pulling at it like this, because you're just tightening the tangle. Don't shift it back and forth because you're making more tangles. Don't switch the direction, which I've seen a lot of people. If this is the way it got caught, stop there, turn it off, start to pick at it. If you move this brush around in any type of way, it's just gonna, I can even feel it. It's gonna continue to get more tangled. As soon as you feel that you're tangled, just stop, shut it off, get your rat tail comb again, Loosen it off. It's that simple to loosen that right off of there, going all the way in, and it'll just come out that simply. 
I hope these tips have been helpful and that by following them, you'll experiment with the Perfector and truly enjoy the benefits of this new incredible styling tool. To find more tips and tricks, check us out online. We're constantly updating our website, so please check in for new styles and salon secrets.